So when Mr. Biden talks at the White House tomorrow, we still don't know what time. Um, you know, Joe, we don't really know, but it'll be after lunch. <laughs> yes, that nice lunch. Um, but it'll be at the White House. So he can't attack his own. He can't attack Democratic governors and mayors, as we have in California, in Illinois, in New York, um, where the crime is just shocking. So let's just give me a few highlights, all right? So here's what Joe Biden should talk about. Portland, Oregon. Um, murder rate up 800%. That's not a typo. 800% year to year, Portland, Oregon. Chicago. Just last weekend, Father's Day weekend, seven people murdered, 45 wounded. One two-day period. All right, L.A., Homicides up by 95% year to year, 95%. That's Eric Garcetti, the mayor. San Francisco, um, May homicides up 100% from last year, 100% San Francisco. New York City, shooting incidents have increased 73% year to year, 73%. That's de Blasio. Philadelphia, Jim Kenney, the mayor, all right, homicides up 30 8% year to year. Baltimore, 57 people have been murdered in the last 50 days. In Baltimore, not a lot of people live in Baltimore, 57 people murdered 50 days. Overwhelming number of them African American, as they are in all of these towns except Portland. Washington, D.C., that's Muriel Bowser, all right? Homicides up 25%. Minneapolis up 56%. Seattle, highest number of homicides in Seattle in 26 years. All Democratic-run cities, most of them have Democratic governors. Okay, there was a mayoral primary in New York today. Um, there will be a Democrat mayor, a Curtis Slewa, the guardian angel guy. He's running on the Republican side, but it's overwhelmingly Democrat in this town, in New York City. Okay. Um, and you can't go on a subway here. You can't. You can't walk in Times Square unless you want to be in danger. Okay. So Biden has never been a problem solver. He's a, he's a career politician. You know that. Okay. He's from Delaware and he's never, ever been an innovative guy or guy with new ideas. He's a party apparatchnik. But when Bill Clinton was president, it was tough on crime, Joe. Joe was the toughest guy in town on the thugs, and he even used that word. He wanted to put those people away. Roll the tape. They will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets that society has, in fact, in part because of its neglect, created. Again, it does not mean because we created them that we somehow forgive them or do not take them out of society to protect my family and yours from them. They are beyond the pale, many of those people. Beyond the pale. And it's a sad commentary on society. We have no choice but to take them out of society. And the truth is, we don't very well know how to rehabilitate them at that point. That's the sad truth. Yeah, huh? Joe Biden, take them out of society. But now, Joe's woke. Joe is virtuous. Joe has seen the light. Now, we're not going to take them anywhere. We're going to let them run wild. We're going to let them out with no bail. We're going to knock out all mandatory sentencing for even the most heinous who can't be rehabilitated. Woke Joe, Rip Van Wyden, Biden, <laughs> has woke up. He's enlightened now. So tomorrow, in his address, it's not going to be that what you just heard. It's going to be these guns. The guns are what does it. As I told you yesterday, I was in Wyoming all last week 
everybody has a gun. One of the lowest murder rates in the country. Not the guns, Joe. All right. I know you're getting enough sleep because you got nothing on your daily schedule. I know you're woke, but you need to wake up. These are bad people. People that have to be punished, Joe. No matter what color they are, they got to be punished. Are you going to say that tomorrow? No, you're not. And I'm going to rip into you tomorrow because I know what you're going to say. Fellow Americans, I am concerned about the U.S. dollar. Huge debt, as you know. Will it stay as the world's reserve currency? That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. And the only company I recommend and have for years is American Hartford Gold. I trust them. I've personally done business with them. They sell physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. And they make it very easy. So call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. And they will give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold shot up more than 40%. Silver, more than 60%. So don't wait. Call them now. 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.